All right, ladies and gentlemen, today's tutorial video is going to be on how to create multiple sketches in a part or on a part. So the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is identify the part we're going to be drawing. And, oh, on my webcam, sorry. Uh, we're going to be doing the blue part. All right, so the blue part. If you need to build the part with your snapping cubes to help you out, um, we are going to be modeling the blue part in this video. So the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is create our new part. So I'm going to go to new and I'm always going to open up a standard.ipt and I'm going to select create. I'm going to go a little bit slower in these videos because I am running um, Inventor through the web browser. So using AppStream just like you guys, I'm also having Inventor issues um, with the software that I downloaded and tech is working on all of our issues as we speak. So hopefully things will be better for us Thursday and Friday. All right, so while we're waiting for this inventor environment to load, um, the first thing that we want to go ahead and do is we want to draw the front view or sketch out the front view that we drew out when we were working on our orthographic views. And again, this is what the front view is going to look like it's with this um, piece right here sticking out in front. So we're just going to draw literally the outside shape of what our front view looks like. So this edge and then this cutout and then we'll come back up. Okay. So that's what I'm going to be working on. So we're going to go to start a 2D sketch. And again, I want to work from my front view face on. So I'm going to select the X, Y plane. And then I'm going to go to my line. And again, we always want to go ahead and start from our origin. So when we're dead set on our origin, our cursor is going to drop a little uh, green circle. When you see that green circle, you're going to click. And then we'll come and go straight up. <clears throat> now, what I've been seeing a lot of you do is go at angles like this. Um, try to keep your cursor as straight as possible. All right. Now, I know that my overall height is two cubes. So again, we're going to use inches instead of cubes. So I'm going to come up two inches. So I'm just going to type in two since my uh, dimension was highlighted blue. You can just type in two and then press enter right away. Now what's gonna happen for a lot of you, like it happened for me, is your two inch line is gonna go off the screen. All right, so there are two ways to kind of navigate yourself around this. If you're on your Chromebook and you do not have a mouse, you can click on front from your view cube, and that's gonna go ahead and fit everything that we're working on inside of our work window. Or in our navigation bar right here with all these little icons, um, right below your hand tool, which is called pan, you do have a little magnifying glass that you can click. And when you click on the magnifying glass or anything below that, we have a bunch of different zoom options. Let me move my screen there. We have a bunch of different zoom options. So if you go to zoom all, that will go ahead and work just like pressing that front um, of your view cube. So since I'm already zoomed, it's not going to do anything, but let me go ahead and close out of this. I'm, I'm lagging a little bit. <clears throat> All right, so I've lost my part. So if I come to my navigation bar over here. Again, I can click on that magnifying glass to go to zoom all and it's going to fit everything into that screen. Um, so in case you lost it again, that zoom all works kind of like this front does here. All right. Now I've accidentally drawn a bunch of lines that I don't want. So I know some of you are also having these struggles. Um, so what you're going to do is I'm gonna make sure everything is cleared out by pressing escape. My line is active, so I'm going to go ahead and right click on it. And I just created it as a center line because I'm not patient enough to lag. Uh, all right, there we go. So 
I'm going to right click on my center line and there's a delete button all the way up at the top. Um, for whatever reason, your Chromebooks don't have a delete button. Normally we would just select that line and press the delete key on our keyboard. But since we don't have a delete key on your Chromebook, um, right clicking on the line and clicking on delete is going to go ahead and get rid of that line for you. So again, I'm going to hover over the line. I'm going to right click and I'm going to come up to delete. All right. So what I need to go ahead and do now is reactivate my line command. And when I reactivate it, I want to hover over this top end or the height, the overall height of <clears throat> my line. And it's lagging. When you hover over the actual endpoint, again, you're going to get that little green circle. Once you see that green circle, you can click, left click and then you can start your line, all right? And that is ensuring that Inventor knows to connect those two endpoints so that it's one continuous path. If it's not one continuous path, we're gonna have some issues. And then we're gonna come over two blocks. So I'm gonna type in two and press enter. And then I know we need to come down one. So again, I wanna make sure my line is nice and straight. I'm gonna type in one and press enter. I'm going to come over to our right and I want to make sure my line is nice and straight so I'm working with 90 degree angles. I'm also going to type in one and then I need to pan up a little bit. All right and we're going to come all the way down one and then we'll come over to our start point or our origin. You're going to see that little green dot again and we're going to close. Now, if I press my front on my view cube, it's going to fit that entire part into um, my drawing window. <clears throat> All right. So now that I have my entire outline of my part sketched, I'm going to go ahead and finish my sketch. And it's going to bring me to my isometric drawing of the front view. Now, the problem is I can't see it. So if you come over to your view cube, in the top left-hand corner, you're going to see this little house symbol. Okay, it's called home. So if you click home, again, it's going to fit whatever you're working on drawing into our window, but it's going to do it from an isometric view. So you're going to see the top, the front, and the right side. And whenever you go ahead and make parts 3D, that home button and seeing your sketch in isometric view is definitely going to go ahead and help you. So now what we need to do is we need to extrude our part our maximum depth. All right, and our maximum depth, oops, sorry, wrong camera, uh, is going to be the one singular block. I know, mine's backwards, sorry. I know this block sticks out, but I, I'm going to show you how to do that next. So we're going to do an extrusion of one, because that's what most of these pieces are, or all of these pieces are. So um, again, you need to make sure that the profile is selected, which is the face that you want to go ahead and extrude. Make sure your distance is accurate, and then you're going to go ahead and select OK. All right, so that is what this, this section, sorry, goes ahead and looks like. All right, it's just backwards. So now what we need to go ahead and do is we need to click on or make this cube that's sticking out. And in order to do that, we need to start a second sketch. All right, so notice I have extrusion one and sketch one for this feature here. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to start 2D sketch. And I know my block needs to go like right there. So I want to sketch on this face. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and select. My block that I'm going to create, or my cube, is actually a square. So I'm going to actually use my rectangle tool. Um, <clears throat> you can use your line tool too, but your rectangle tool is going to go a little bit faster. And I'm going to start on a corner. I'm going to look for that little green circle. It means that you're snapping to a corner. All right. And then I'm going to drag out my rectangle or my square shape. And notice that my dimension is highlighted in blue. So I'm going to type in one, but instead of pressing enter, what I'm going to do is press the tab key. 
and the tab key is going to toggle over to my second dimension. My second dimension also needs to be one. All right, now that I'm done with both dimensions, now I can press enter. All right, it's going to go ahead and create that square for me. And notice my square is fully constrained. All right, my sketch is fully constrained. That's what I need in order to go ahead and make that part. It should say fully constrained down at the bottom of your um, environment. I'm not sure why it's not showing me on mine, but um, that is another way to, again, make sure that you have given the computer all of the information that it needs. So once I've gone ahead and sketched that part out, my parts are fully constrained. All of my lines are that blue purple color. I'm going to go ahead and select finish sketch. And now what I need to do is extrude, All right? Again, we're going to select that profile. We're going to make sure that we extrude the distance that we want. My part only extrudes out one cube. All right. So a singular cube is what's sticking out in our preview right now. So I know that's right. And then we're going to go ahead and select OK. Notice how my part is all solid. All right, if I go to the free orbit, you don't have to do this with yours, but this is what it should look like in the free orbit. All right, I'm going to go ahead and close out of there. And then what we want to do is we want to color it blue. Um, I do not care what color blue you pick. I usually come to the top and use this blue wall paint glossy, but again, you can use whatever one you'd like. And now you can see over in the browser bar that we have the extrusion from our first part and the sketch, you open up these little, I call them carrots or arrows. Um, and then we have the sketch for your second part and the extrusion for your second part, All right? So you should only have two different sketches and extrusions or your blue part. Anything more than that um, is fine. You're just making more work for yourself with multiple sketches that you don't need. All right. And then just to review on how to save, we're going to come up to File, Save As, come up to Save As. And you always, 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 see, mine's not working either, want to select your Google Drive. I'm also having issues. Um, make sure you save this as blue part into your IED folder, all right? I still need to work through my tech issues, so I'm not able to save to my IED, IED folder right now, um, but when I can, I will remake the part and save it in there. And that is how you create multiple sketches for a feature. Not everything is gonna be nice and flat, um, like, our, like our orange or yellow or our green parts, um, and it's going to have multiple dimensions sticking out. So that is how you go ahead and tackle a feature that has multiple sketches. Please make sure that you have recorded notes on how to create multiple sketches in your engineering notebook on a brand new day. And then that is all that you need to do for this assignment. Have a great day.